You think it ain't real out here in these streets? It's real out here in these streets. The, the, the streets of Vegas. Streets of Vegas, out right here with my man Ink from Ink Kitchen. What's going on with you, man? I'm all right, man. How you doing? How man, you doing? not too bad. Trying to get some of this good food, man. Got everybody man. coming out here in the rain, man. man. You see it don't stop out here, y'all. It's official. Ink Kitchen, man. So, so man, tell the people, man, you got a huge following on Instagram, man. And I found you just on the streets, man. You got to live in that chef life. How, how did you get into the, the, the chef game, man? Man, honestly, uh, I moved out here to Vegas. Honestly, I wasn't even thinking about cooking at the time. I was just trying to change my life around to get out the streets of LA and everything. And, uh, okay, you from where? LA? Yeah, I'm from oh, South Central. Los South Central. Okay, yeah. okay. Shout and, uh, out to South Central. I was just trying to change my life around and everything. And uh, I always liked the food. You know what I'm saying? Being a foodie type person, spend money on food. I did decide that I wanted to go to culinary school because of everything that was going on with, in Vegas and stuff okay. like that. Get, a, get uh, official, basically. Then. Yeah. yeah, and I, uh, I did check in a school for a little bit, but mm -hmm. honestly, I dropped out of school to be with six different chefs that I had cooked with and everything. So wow. I learned a lot from them. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys can see a lot of my history on my page called Chef B Plates. Okay. And uh, a lot of history on there from when I started and left school and everything, and then... Uh, when I really got done kind of doing that about two, three years later, mm -hmm. doing stuff like that, I went back down to L.A., did a couple of little things. I hooked mm -hmm. up with All Flavor No Grease before all the little stuff was really cracking real fast. Okay, what is that, All Flavor No Grease? What uh, is it's, that a, like? it's a dude that the dude like the quesadillas down in, okay, uh, in L.A. Okay, okay, the yeah. Mexican style, okay, yep, okay. Yep. And uh, I linked up with him. I've seen some different little things. Uh, I just always looked at myself as being different because I was trained to cook by, like, top culinary executive chefs. Top, yeah, top of the line. I can tell everybody your style, man. So, yeah. so I looked at the game a little different, and when it came to the streets, I always been a street nigga. Yeah. Straight up, no lie, you know what I'm saying? That's home to me, so. Right. I decided to come back to Vegas. When I uh, decided to come back to Vegas, that's when I just noticed that there really wasn't no street chefs there out There wasn't here. no street, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and when was this? What would you say around uh, the year? This was about, uh, we in 2019. This yeah. was like 2015, okay, 2015. Okay, so you seen a, a, like a gap in the game. I, like, I seen a big gap in the game. I noticed that like uh, everybody focusing on high-end food like yeah. uh, Benny Hanna's, okay. Rose Chris, okay. uh, Yard House, okay. uh, uh, The Fly, different little yeah. places to name out here. And by me having a training in all of them areas, yeah. I just started bringing that food to everybody in the hood. To the street game. Yeah, so yeah. that's when I was like, man, you know, I really, really have my credentials to show that I've been up under executive chefs mm -hmm. and became a sous chef and mm -hmm. did my thing. So that's when I started doing like the street chef and things like that because I'm just a street nigga that decided, you know, just become the, you, a chef. It was, it was a hell of a blend because you mixed the streets with the chef shit, man. And that, that was my whole initial goal from the beginning. But besides that, man, we came about where Eat Kitchen was just like a big funny story because a lot of places that I went to go cook at, and I, I give a shout out to all these places, mm -hmm. turned me around because I had visible tattoos okay. on my face okay. and things like that. So mm -hmm. when I decided to create my own brand and company, mm -hmm. I, I, I just said, man, you know, like like when I did was cooking, everybody was calling me Ink, so I decided to call it Ink Kitchen. Okay. And, and it, I just kind of ran with it. just ran with it. And they turned you away with it and shit. What's going on, yeah. brother? They turned you away with it, but you said, man, shit, I'm, I'm going to go where I'm celebrated, not tolerated, and just flip the game with it, man, huh? Yeah, I just, hey, I, I'll be honest, who, who, who don't start to show more love than niggas in the streets. The niggas you in know the streets. What I'm saying? You can tell, and, I, and I'm just keeping it real with me looking the way I look, being a full-time felon and all yeah. that stuff. Uh, corporate offices and all of that stuff. When I did used to try to go sell my food there, they wouldn't take it. They wouldn't or take they'd it. take yeah. the samples, but they wouldn't call me back. Yeah, they you wouldn't. Know? So yeah, I'm going to be yeah. real, man. I went to Northtown in Las Vegas and I set up shop. Is that where it started at? I started right down Arrowhead Street off the wow. city center. Wow, cut it out. Vegas I used to live Boulevard. on Salt Lake, man. Yeah. You was right down Arrowhead? Yeah. Wow. And so when you first started, what was you doing? Was you like, of course, you didn't have the, you didn't have the truck, so what was oh, you just kind of. Hey, got a grill hey, or I what? Was, I was, honestly, I started off doing. Uh, 
uh, I was doing my pineapple bowls with the hibachi rice. So I always okay. have my own twist on how I did my fried rice. Okay. Just because I like to do infusions. That's okay. just one of my things. Okay. And uh, besides that, I uh, said, fuck it one day, you know. I really wanted to take it to the next level and show that I know how to cook live because a lot of kitchens I done cooked in with live kitchens. Okay. You know, like uh, we did Church and State down in Los Angeles, a French fine dining place where you can walk up and see the whole window like this. And okay, like cooking. open, o yeah. wide open, okay. Yeah. Same thing, but besides that, uh, I just decided to just get out there. Just man. take it out like, there, yeah. It yeah. wasn't better than being able to talk to somebody and watching them cook their food yeah, at the same time. The same. You know yeah, that's saying? real shit. We're man. not pulling nothing out the warmers and then with my culinary training, I can mm -hmm. do everything live. Yeah, right there in live. Yeah, right I was there, right. how to do it, not just the hibachi show. One day I found one of the little small little grills on offer up and don't nobody really know that. Oh, uh, damn. I, I paid a hundred dollars for the grill. Good. Is that how it started? Oh, everything. And I got Good. out there. You feel me? I, hey, rain, sleep, or snow, I was out there, bro. Good. You know, so I used to get, honestly get bit up by red ants standing in the dirt with my grills. And yeah. I, I saw it to everybody in, in Northtown that used to fuck with me that really yeah. got everything started. That's where, it, that's where Buzz started at then, huh? Yeah. How started, did you get the name out there? Like, how did you, like, how was you soliciting people to come check me out? Or how, how, like, how did that start? Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, my nigga. I just held my ground. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. And uh, I uh, shout out to uh, 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 Marcus Allen from Magic. Marcus, Beast. okay, okay. Uh, he started letting me doing pop ups in front of his barbershops wow. over there. Okay. And uh, I used to do pop ups in front of his barbershops. Everybody seen me doing that. And uh, shout out to uh, Jay from Elite Auto. Okay. He used to let me do pop ups at the uh, store. That's when I ran into Filthy Ridge. Okay. Incorporating the streets, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And when it comes to that, man, honestly, I went to everybody. I don't really know too much about the games in Vegas, but yeah. me just being a street nigga, I drove to all the hood places. All the hoods. Yeah. I yeah. hopped out like, man, you know, I'm doing this, doing that. I yeah. connected with the with the with the D boys and mm -hmm. the pimps and yeah. and all of them, and I was cooking at their houses. You know wow, what I'm saying? Man, making, I was making great. my bread, cooking at yeah. their houses, Airbnb. At the same time, on my on my days off, I'll be over there cooking outside of the house when I'm not doing eight things. And uh, the streets fed me. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? My, my, Literally, my, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. My partner yeah. from the streets, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Out here in Vegas. It's just, I, I haven't took on no corporate positions. I haven't hired nobody or tried to hire nobody that wasn't a felon. You know, yeah, things yeah. Things like that. Yeah. I mean, everything that I done did and grown from out here and even learning to get to the business side was. Yeah. From somebody that was coming from the same caliber or background I'm coming from. Yeah, because that's a whole other thing, the entrepreneur aspect. It, it's, of it, it's hard, and I'm yeah. gonna be real. Uh, I'm not trying to be fucked up or nothing, but it's not too much that a corporate person can really teach a person coming from our background. Right, right. We haven't yeah. lived the same lives, so you don't understand lives. the struggle. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so we yeah. learned and learned and built and built and built on what we was doing, mm -hmm. and then keep it together. And I'm and and no matter what was going on out here, mm -hmm. I supported it. I said, yeah, yeah, that's In the real, beginning, man. when everybody was doing their shit, you mm -hmm. could go back and look. I was with them, I was supporting them. And then as things grow, we grow in life and we all separate and go, go on and go other ways and, and ride. Yeah. And meet new people. You know, right, that's man. just how it is. But yeah. it was all love out here, man. That's real, man. Congrats right, on man. the truck, too, man. That, man, that was a big thing, too, to get the truck, man, huh? Yeah, I got my girl in here. Right yeah, here. man. I, I, what's your staff like, man? That's my boy, Mr. Webb, right here. You can see him on online. He okay. Got on okay. Got you, yeah. That's my son, Protege. Protege, my son right there. Okay, okay. This is my partner right here, Blue. Bad okay. Bad Blue. What's up, man? She is doing the puppies and all the dogs okay. like that. He yeah, introduced the me to the dog game. Okay, so see, see the that. exotic puppies. I see that, like man. Man, man that's good. And cool. honestly, we just hope we just try to hold it down and be strong as possible. Yeah, what's, what's the average day like for y'all, man? Y'all start like around dinner time, man. Uh, uh, we mostly I target I targeted the uh, nightlife for a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, <laughs> like I said in the beginning. Out here in Vegas, it's a different lifestyle. Yeah, in the daytime, yeah. everybody at work. Right. When I try right. to do lunch and different yeah. things like that, yeah. corporate offices they want to fuck with. Right. But I noticed that nighttime, the streets is up at night. Streets is pop. I, be, yeah. I opened up at seven, eight o'clock to three in the morning. Damn. But just to, to eating, like you just do it to like you sell out too, man. Huh? And most of the time to sell out, unless we know certain days, we know it's gonna be a certain way. We just stock it up, but we like to keep the food fresh okay. and prep. 
So right. we do like sell out a lot and do bring okay. in fresh product daily or right, every other it, day. We don't let it sit in too long. Yeah, because it should be bombed. Okay. I mean, steak, filet mignon. You know, I mean, steak, filet mignon y'all got to check this shit out, man. Where, where we at? We're right with 1928 Western, right? 1928, right in front of Paint Puff right here. Right in front of Paint Puff. Right here, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going down no matter what the weather is, man. And so also, you, uh, just to announce to everybody, we is opening up a, a second business called Ink Pasta Shop. Okay. We're going to have some of our, some of my, uh, you know, street fine dining dishes in there dealing okay. with pasta, seafood, a couple of my little, more little sauces. I'm going to okay. bring to you guys. A whole, no, a whole nother twist there, huh? A whole nother twist. Yeah, yeah. A whole nother twist. No need to go out to the fine dining spots we bring it to you. Well, right you can here. come right here, man. Right I here, mean, man. It, this is like gourmet. When I when I first came and got it, man, it's like gourmet street shit to me. That, that's what I call it. In you know kitchen, uh, hibachi and gourmet street food. Mm -hmm. The reason why we say gourmet street food is because we bring a twist from the restaurant to the street. To the street. At yeah. affordable yeah. price. At affordable price. At affordable yeah. price. Make sure everything is cool. We give the good, the good and the best meats from filet mignon yeah. down to lobster. Hand prep, hand I mean, cut. You can't, I ain't never seen nobody. Everything. You can't get that on the streets, dog. Nah. We all right, you can't get that on the, the streets, team, man. All of us work hard every day, come in and make sure everything fresh from the from the, from everything being hand butchered by us. Damn. Vegetables, everything. Okay, that's nothing, real, man. Nothing, no, no corner cutting. We just handle it all, right? Yeah, here. That's the best way to do it, man. And that's I appreciate everybody for you know showing the love. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's a hundred million places for y'all to go to, man, especially we in are Vegas. In Vegas. Especially it's in a Vegas. full city like a motherfucker, yeah. but. All the love I be getting and all the love that everybody be showing is real. Yeah, to get a you piece of the saying? pie, man, that, that's crazy, man. And, and you got to understand, I'm not from Vegas and I only been out here, you know what I'm saying? I said a good seven years, but I started everything and based everything out here. Right that's there. why I put LV on the snap. Right, you know what I'm saying? I'm right, from Los man. Angeles, but I put the LV put on the LV. That's yeah. who helped me start my business and show the That's where the connection love. is, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's real, man. That, that's that's real. where it started at, and I really appreciate it because. They fuck with me strong. Yeah. There's a lot of restaurants out here, yeah, man. It's a, it's it's a gang a of competition. The hotels, I mean, yeah. the strip, I mean, everything. And, and, the and fuck for with people you, that's to crazy. keep coming back and keep coming back, that's how yeah. you know it's real. Yeah, you hooked yeah. on this shit, man. Yeah, and what, what, what made you go with the hibachi style, man? Because that's like a signature uh, style with you, man. I mean, that, that's crazy. The reason crazy. why I say it was a signature style is uh, I, uh, the hibachi took over, but yeah, then with all the other chefs that I grew around, each each one of them held down one solid cuisine. Okay. Now most of the time when you see a quote unquote truck pushing out so many different cuisines yeah. or so many different things, that's more of a cafe style. Okay, type okay. Thing. okay. You know, yeah. I like the whole mind down and then the type of hibachi that I do we kinda call it like like a steakhouse kind okay, of, you know, it's okay, a little yeah. steakhouse thing with a twist behind there. Yeah, I love and it, man. I could eat that shit every day, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm just focusing on mastering it. Yeah, I could do yeah. a lot of different things, but, but focusing on one like, thing. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap into a wealth on it. Yeah. You make money when you can walk away. Then yeah. that's when you. Now I'm ready to start doing the pasta shop and doing all of that. Okay, I see what you're saying. I can kind of walk away and see business is still going. It's still, so yeah, I wasn't yeah. gonna let go up mm -hmm. on this until I. I knew that I had my grip on it. Okay. Or like my uncle used to say, a monkey not going to let go of one branch until you got a secure grip on it. That's another. true. That is true. That is so, true, man. I yeah. just felt that I, was, that I should just hold it down until things are strong enough for me to walk away and be like, all right, I'm going to start doing now. I'm trying to bring in a pasta shop with the egg mac and all of Okay, okay. And then, will that be a physical shop, like a standalone store or something? Or something we like get it. Are we trying to get it into another truck? Another now, truck. now we okay. trying. We going to get we it into another yeah. truck. There you go. There you go. I'm going to put go. it right next to this one, man. Okay, yeah. They and have you know, both of them cranking, keep, man. Keep on going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and to be honest, I'm really just trying to set a tone mm -hmm. For, for, for all the kids growing up and coming from my position mm -hmm. to let them know that being a felon and all of that, it mm -hmm. is hope. It is yeah. things we can do. It is, yeah. We, we yeah. ain't just a member and all that bullshit. This shit don't stop you. Man, yeah. so yeah. if I can open up more of these, that mm -hmm. means I can probably help more people. Yeah, bring some other to, people. To yeah. show them, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You yeah. can cook, we can do this, yeah. and keep on going. Yeah. You know? Real talk, talk, man. Because you're coming over to eat kitchen, and when we're trying to do things like that, we're not running no background checks and telling None you that yeah. you got tattoos and doing all of that. Yeah. We just want to say, hey, man, you got some passion? Well, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. all we're trying you to do. You can cook and get down. Let's, let's do it, man. Real shit, man. Up, 
Hey, y'all fuck with E. Kitchen, man. This is my nigga right here, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. You see everybody coming up getting some of this shit, man. Yeah, from the, from the celebrities to the rappers to everybody. Everybody knowing like yeah. that, man? Yeah, yeah the, the word spread, man. You, you have me on Instagram, bro. You have me on there, man. Definitely, man. So, man, Streets of Vegas, man. What, what can we expect 2019, man? I know you said you could get the whole uh, uh, Y'all can see the Ink Kitchen apparel. It's okay. almost ready. Should okay. be ready by April. We're going to have the clothes, sweatsuits, okay. all that. Okay. Uh, we got the uh, the Ink Pasta Shop coming. Okay. And, uh, I got my uh, my uh, Ink High Roller kennels okay. with the dogs. With the I dogs, okay. With, with the pits and all that, huh? I do it, uh, exotic French bulldogs. Okay, okay. You know, so those are, I, wait, I got my uh, puppies coming. For those probably like at the end of the year, they'll, they'll be mating and done. Okay. I'm just trying to Not work, big thing. You do catering too, like private do parties and shit too, right? and private parties, Airbnbs okay. Okay. and that stuff too. We just okay. been focused on the truck like the last right couple now. of months, but we, need we get it all done. Okay. We get it all done. Make sure y'all hit the ink line, man. Yeah, Come on the in. ink line, man. We, we got it going, man. Yeah, just, Street Chef, you know, Chef Life, man. Ink Kitchen. Man, Street to Vegas. Shot now. Peace.